I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of the Infinite Creator. I communicate now. Question 10.1 Questioner, I think that it would clarify things for us if we went back to the time just before the transfer of souls from Moldek to see how the Law of One operated with respect to this transfer and why this transfer was necessary. What happened to the people of Moldek that caused them to lose their planet? How long ago did this event occur? Answer, I am Ra. The peoples of Moldek had a civilization somewhat similar to that of the societal complex known to you as Atlantis and that it gained much technological information and used it without care for the preservation of their sphere following to a majority extent the complex of thought, ideas, and actions which you may associate with your so-called negative polarity or the service to self. This was, however, for the most part, couched in a sincere belief thought structure which seemed to the perception of the mind-body complexes of this sphere to be positive and of service to others. The devastation that tracked their biosphere and caused its disintegration resulted from what you call a war. The escalation went to the furthest extent of the technology this social complex had at its disposal in the space-time present of the then time. This time was approximately 705,000 of your years ago. The cycles had begun much, much earlier upon this sphere due to its relative ability to support the first dimensional life forms at an earlier point in the space-time continuum of your solar system. These entities were so traumatized by this occurrence that they were in what you may call a social complex knot or tangle of fear. Some of your time passed. No one could reach them. No beings could aid them. Approximately 600,000 of your years ago the then existing members of the Confederation were able to deploy a social memory complex and untie the knot of fear. The entities were then able to recall that they were conscious. This awareness brought them to the point upon what you would call the lower astral planes where they could be nurtured until each mind, body, spirit complex was able to finally be healed of this trauma to the extent that each entity was able to examine the distortions it had experienced in the previous life illusion complex. After this experience of learned teaching, the group decision was to place upon itself a type of what you may call karma alleviation. For this purpose they came into incarnation within your planetary sphere in what were not acceptable human forms. This then they have been experiencing until the distortions of destruction are replaced by distortions towards the desire for a less distorted vision of service to others. Since this was the conscious decision of the great majority of those beings in the Moldek experience, the transition to this planet began approximately 500,000 of your years ago and the type of body complex available at that time was used. Question 10.2 Questioner, was the body complex available at that time what we refer to as the ape body? Answer, I am Ra. That is correct. Question 10.3 Questioner, have any of the Moldek entities transformed since then? Are they still second density now or are some of them third density? Answer, I am Ra. The consciousness of these entities has always been third density. The alleviation mechanism was designed by the placement of this consciousness in second dimensional physical chemical complexes which are not able to be dexterous or manipulative to the extent which is appropriate to the working of the third density distortions of the mind complex. Question 10.4 Questioner have any of the entities moved on now, made a graduation at the end of a cycle and made the transition from second density bodies to third density bodies? Answer, I am Ra. Many of these entities were able to remove the accumulation of what you call karma, thus being able to accept a third density cycle within a third density body. Most of those beings so succeeding have incarnated elsewhere in the creation for the succeeding cycle in third density. As this planet reached third density some few of these entities became able to join the vibration of this sphere in third density form. There remain a few who have not yet alleviated through the mind, body, spirit coordination of distortions the previous action taken by them. Therefore, they remain. Question 10.5 Questioner, are these the Bigfoot that you spoke of? Answer, I am Ra. These are one type of Bigfoot. Question 10.6 Questioner, then our human race is formed of a few who originally came from Moldek and quite a few who came from Mars. Are there entities here from other places? Answer, I am Ra. 
There are entities experiencing your time-space continuum who have originated from many, many places, as you would call them, in the creation, for when there is a cycle change, those who must repeat then find the planetary sphere appropriate for this repetition. It is somewhat unusual for a planetary mind, body, spirit complex to contain those from many, many various loci, but this explains much, for, you see, you are experiencing the third dimension occurrence with a large number of those who must repeat the cycle. The orientation, thus, has been difficult to unify even with the aid of many of your teach learners. Question 10.7 Questioner when Moldek was destroyed, did all the people of Moldek have the fear problem or were some advanced enough to transfer to other planets? Answer, I am Ra. In the occurrence of planetary dissolution none escaped, for this is an action which redounds to the social complex of the planetary complex itself. None escaped the knot or tangle. Question 10.8 Questioner, is there any danger of this happening to Earth at this time? Answer, I am Ra. We feel this evaluation of your planetary mind, body, spirit complexes so-called future may be less than harmless. We say only the conditions of mind exist for such development of technology and such deployment. It is the distortion of our vision understanding that the mind and spirit complexes of those of your people need orientation rather than the toys needing dismantlement, for are not all things that exist part of the Creator. Therefore, freely to choose is your own duty. Question 10.9. Questioner, when graduation occurs at the end of a cycle, and entities are moved from one planet to another, by what means do they go to a new planet? Answer, I am Ra. In the scheme of the Creator, the first step of the mind, body, spirit totality beingness is to place its mind, body, spirit complex distortion in the proper place of love light. This is done to ensure proper healing of the complex and eventual attunement with the totality beingness complex. This takes a very variable length of your time space. After this is accomplished the experience of the cycle is dissolved and filtered until only the distillation of distortions in its pure form remains. At this time, the harvested mind, body, spirit totality beingness evaluates the density needs of its beingness and chooses the more appropriate new environment for either a repetition of the cycle or a moving forward into the next cycle. This is the manner of the harvesting, guarded and watched over by many. Question 10.10 Questioner, when the entity is moved from one planet to the next is he moved in thought or by a vehicle? Answer, I am Ra. The mind, body, spirit totality beingness is one with the Creator. There is no time-space distortion. Therefore, it is a matter of thinking the proper locus in the infinite array of time-spaces. Question 10.11 Questioner, while an entity is incarnate in this third density at this time he may either learn unconsciously without knowing what he is learning, or he may learn after he is consciously aware that he is learning in the ways of the law of one. By the second way of learning consciously, it is possible for the entity to greatly accelerate his growth. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Question 10.12 Questioner, then although many entities are not consciously aware of it, what they really desire is to accelerate their growth, and it is their job to discover this while they are incarnate. Is it correct that they can accelerate their growth much more while in the third density than in between incarnations of this density? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. We shall attempt to speak upon this concept. The law of one has as one of its primal distortions the free will distortion, thus each entity is free to accept, reject, or ignore the mind, body, spirit complexes about it and ignore the creation itself. There are many among your social memory complex distortion who, at this time space, engage daily, as you would put it, in the working upon the law of one in one of its primal distortions, that is, the ways of love. However, if this same entity, being biased from the depths of its mind, body, spirit complex towards love light, were then to accept the responsibility for each moment of the time-space accumulation of present moments available to it. Such an entity can empower its progress in much the same way as we described the empowering of the call of your social complex distortion to the confederation.